Chloe. Welcome to my 2018 summer shredding challenge program. There's just four episodes over this eight weeks program and I put together a workout schedule to help you out. You can find the link in the description box. Now, before we get into the workout, please hit the like, subscribe and notification button to share some love for my channel. And it would be amazing if you could follow me on my Instagram and tag me your progress photos. And let's get started. Today's workout is a full body workout. We have 14 exercises across two circuits, 30 seconds on and 10 seconds rest time. We're doing the circuits three times in total. The first exercise is wood chop lunge. Start with your hands above you, bringing them down to your right while having your left leg behind you into a lunge position. Jump and alternate your legs and bring your arms to the left. This is great for working both your arms and legs at the same time. If you can't do the jump or prefer to do low impact exercises, then just do a regular lunge instead. Make sure your front knee doesn't pass your toes and keep your core tight. The next exercise is squat jump with front kick. Try to engage your glutes while you're squatting down then jump up explosively. Return down into a squat and come back up and do a front kick. This is great for your butt, legs and also abs. If you prefer to do a low impact version, leave out the jump and just do squats and front kicks. <laughs> Next is skater jump. Jump as far to the left as possible and cross your right leg behind you. Then take another big jump to the right and bring your left leg behind you. This works the inner thighs. For low impact, you can do a big step to the left or right without the jump. The next exercise is the Heinzman. This is a lateral jump to your left and right while bringing your knee up to your hip level. Go as fast as you can and be sure to engage your core and your legs. For a low impact version, do a slower, more controlled version without the hops. The next exercise is double leg butt kick. This is almost like a squat jump, but you're jumping up, bringing your legs behind you, touching your butt. This is a pretty advanced move, so do it slow and controlled. Land softly and don't hurt your knee. For a low impact version, you can just do a squat, and as you come up, bring one leg up, kicking your butt. The next exercise is burpees. Start in a high plank, jump both legs towards your hands, then jump up as high as you can. Return back into a push up and repeat. For a low impact version, do it slow and controlled without any jumps and without any push ups. The next exercise is mountain climber. Bring one leg in as close to your elbow as possible, then repeat on the other side. For the low impact version, just do it slow and controlled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Next up is push up with shoulder tap. Push ups is one of the most important compound movements for upper body. Adding the shoulder tap just makes it a little easier. If you can't do a standard push up, then get on your knees so you are pressing up less weight. Next, we have high plank bird dog. Bring the opposite leg and arm up. You look like you're about to fly or taking off. It is not an easy exercise as it requires a lot of balance, but give yourself some time to improve if you're struggling. If this is too hard for you, then you can try getting on your knee and do a regular bird dog. <laughs> Now we have a quick 40 seconds break, then we'll be on circuit 2 for the remaining 5 exercises. We have plank to squat next. Start in a high plank, then jump both legs into a squat. If you can't do this, then just do a high plank. Then we have up and down plank. This is great for working your arms and your core. Next, we have bicycle crunch. Bring one leg in at a time, touching the opposite elbow. This works your core. We have plank with leg raise next. Start in the low plank, then bring one leg up at one time. Make sure you don't poke your butt out and remember to tuck your abs in. If you can't do this, you can do a low plank hole instead. The last exercise is walking plank. Bring your right leg and right hand to the right, 
then bring them back in and repeat on the other side. This works the arms and the core. And you're done with round one. Now take a minute break and we'll repeat the workout two more times. If you can't do any exercises, you can just do the low impact version or just do high knees or planks depending on how you're feeling. Stay in it guys. Let's start the workout again with wood chop lunge. Next, we have squat jump with front kick. Next is skater jump. The next exercise is Heinzman. What did I know? What did I know? I fell for fools. Gold, I fell for fools. Gold, what did I know? What did I know? And you are fools, go. Oh my god. Yes, I did. The next exercise is double leg butt kick. is burpees. I'm feeling so hollow. Don't you know? And don't you know? I'm living in shadow. Don't 
Next up is push up with shoulder tap. Plank Bird Dog. Now we have a 40 seconds break, then we are going to do our circuit 2. Squat next. Then we have up and down plank. We have bicycle crunch. Late race next.
The last exercise for this circuit is walking plank. We're done with round two. Now take another minute break and you can switch to low impact anytime. Don't worry, you'll get better. By week eight, you can do most of these. Let's do this again and the first exercise is wood chop lunge. Next, we have squat jump with front kick. Next is skater jump. The next exercise is science man. The next exercise is double leg butt kick. The next exercise is burpees. Thank <laughs> you. 
mountain climber. Next up is push up with shoulder tap. Next is High Plank Bird Dog. Now we have a 40 seconds break, then we're going to do our circuit two. We are almost done guys, just a couple of more exercises to go. We have plank to squat next. Then we have up and down plank. Next, we have Bicycle Crunch. We have plank with leg raise next.
exercise for the workout. Let's finish this off. Congrats everyone for making it to the end. Keep challenging yourself and you'll be one step closer to that summer body. Remember to stay hydrated and eat well and also stick to the workout schedule that I've provided in the description. Leave a comment down below for questions and I'll see you guys in the next workout. Bye!